differentiability of a function at a point. In this video, I am trying to explain when we say a function is differentiable at a point. Next, we will learn when we say a function is differentiable function. Next, we will learn what is derivative of a function. This concept is little difficult to understand. Please watch this video till the end. Function f of x is differentiable at p if and only if there exists a unique tangent to the curve f of x at p. Throughout this class, I am going to discuss on this point only. When function is differentiable at p, there exists a unique tangent to the curve at point p. There exists a unique tangent to the curve at point p, then f of x is differentiable function. This is if and only if condition. Now consider the coordinate axis, o is the origin. Take the curve, y is equals to f of x. Draw a line. You observe this line. This line cuts the curve at two points. Name them P, Q. Now, what is this line PQ? This line PQ is called secant line PQ. This line cuts the curve at two points. So, this line is called secant line PQ. Now, observe the diagram. What is the point P? P is a point, we suppose, which is at a distance of x units from origin. P is a point, which is at a distance of x units from y axis. Now, what is this length? This is height of the curve. What is this length? This is f of x. f of x. It can be understood easily from the diagram. What is the point P? x comma f of x. Observe the diagram. What is the point P? Point P is x comma f of x. Correct? Now, where the point Q is? Observe this. Move towards right from the point P, which is at a distance of h units. What is h here? h is very small positive quantity. What I am trying to say, Q is a point which is at a distance of x plus h units from origin. Observe the point Q. Q is at a distance of x plus h units from y axis. This length is x plus h. Now, what is this length? Yes, what is this length? This is height of the curve. What is this length? f of x plus h. Now, what is q? q is x plus h comma f of x plus h. From the previous knowledge, we can understood this very easily. q is x plus h comma f of x. Now, observe that as q is approaching to p from right, q is approaching to p from right. What happens secant line, you think? Observe the diagram, please secant line pq observe the tendency of secant line pq when q approaches to p from right observe the secant line pq it is moving secant line pq secant line pq please observe the diagram secant line pq as q approaches to p from right secant line pq is becoming tangent to the curve at point p please observe this carefully when Q approaches to P from right, secant line PQ is became tangent to the curve Y equals to F of X at the point P. Understand this please. When Q approaches to P from right, the secant line PQ is became tangent to the curve Y equals to F of X at point P. That means when Q approaches to P from right, observe here, X plus H is approaches to what? X plus H is approaching to X. When Q approaches to P from right, X plus H is approaching to X. When X plus H is approaching to X means H is approaching to 0. It can be understood easily from the diagram. H is approaching to 0. Now, observe the secant line. Observe the diagram. Now, you can see the secant line PR. PR. Observe towards left of it. R is at a distance of H units towards the left. Now, what is r? r is at a distance of x minus h units from origin. This length is x minus h. Now what is this length? This length is what? This length is f of x minus h. From the diagram, it can be understood easily. r is x minus h comma f of x minus h. r is approaching to p from left. Please observe. 
R is approaching to P from left. Now observe the secant line PR. Observe, observe the tendency of the secant line PR. Observe the tendency of the secant line PR. It is becoming tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at the point P. Tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P. What we observe here when Q approaches to P from right, R approaches to P from left, the secant line is became tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P. That means we observe that for this curve y equals to f of x, there exists a unique tangent to the curve at point P. Observe here, x minus h is approaching to x. It means when R is approaching to P from left, x minus h is approaching to x. It means that minus h is approaching to 0. It is nothing but h is approaching to 0. I will conclude. When we say a function f of x is differentiable at a point P, if there exists a unique tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P, what is slope of secant line PQ? You know slope formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You observe the points P, Q, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by x plus h minus x. This is the formula for slope of secant line PQ. Here xx will get cancelled. Similarly, slope of secant line PR. Observe the points P and R. It is f of x minus h minus f of x divided by x minus h minus x. xx will get cancelled. These are the formulas for slope of secant line PQ and PR. What is limiting position of slope of secant line PQ when Q approaches to P from right? What is this slope of tangent to the curve at point P? This formula gives slope of tangent at point P. You observe here. Limiting position of slope of secant line PR. Slope of secant line PR as R approaches to P from left. What it gives? It gives the slope of tangent at point P. Here, if both the limit exist and they are equal, then we say that there exists a unique tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P. See, if there exists a unique tangent at point P, both the limit exist and they are equal. Then we say that there exists a unique tangent at point P. You observe this. Q tends to P plus. From this we know that H tends to 0 that we already discussed. Now you observe this. I am writing the same step. What is there above? Q tends to P plus. In place of Q tends to P plus, we can write H approaches to 0. What this gives? This gives slope of tangent to the curve at point P. Now you observe this. R tends to P minus. R tends to P minus means it is also gives that H approaches to 0. You observe here. What is there above? I am writing the same thing. In place of R tends to P minus, I am writing that H approaches to 0. What it gives? It gives the slope of tangent to the curve at point P. If both the limits exist and they are equal, that means that there exists a unique tangent to the curve at point P. You observe this expression. This expression is very very important. Limit h tends to 0. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. What is this? This is slope of tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P. This expression is slope of tangent which is also known as that means that slope of the curve at point P is also known as derivative of f of x at point P. This is known as derivative of the function at point P. Derivative of a function is nothing but slope of tangent to the curve. You observe this expression. To find the derivative of a function by using first principle, we use this formula only. You observe this. Limit h tends to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This is known as first principle of derivative. And what we got, this expression is same as this expression and both will gives you the slope of tangent to the curve at point P. Okay. Now, 
you observe this expression this expression is known as right hand derivative right hand derivative what is right hand derivative how to calculate right hand derivative it is nothing but first principle of derivative formula limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h this is first principle of derivative which is also known as right hand derivative now what about left hand derivative left hand derivative you observe this expression this is known as left hand derivative see here limit h tends to 0 f of x minus h minus f of x divided by minus h this is known as left hand derivative when right hand derivative is same as left hand derivative then what we say then we say that f of x is differentiable then we say that the function f of x is differentiable at point p so to decide whether the function is differentiable or not first we will calculate right hand derivative and left hand derivative if right hand derivative is same as left hand derivative then we say that function is differentiable and this uh, right hand derivative as well as left hand derivative both will gives you slope of tangent to the curve at point p i hope you understand differentiability of a function at a point